heard Dan Quinn, this fan base went, wait a second, that guy had a star in a sweater. <laughs> but my high school is this too. Really? Yeah, so Marstown High, Maroon. And uh, so going there, going to Salisbury, and uh, it does feel like every once in a while you find the right spot for the right person at the right time. And I feel like that's here with me. And uh, so that's why I'm all lit up about, you know, being here and, and helping this fan base to go. Like, where else would you rather be, mm -hmm. you know, for a fan base that doesn't care? No, you'd rather be everything all in to know how important having a really good football team is, you know, for this area. Like, I know that, and I want to be a part of that. And then that's where you can make your mark. It's not another one. Like, they're living in it right now, and they got to go for it. Like, this is the only year we have. And I really feel that way. Like, it's not two years from now. It's not next year. It is all in for this. Because in our game, as you know, that next year is not promised. You know... I'm really starting to feel like Dan Quinn turned into Agent 47 from Hitman and decided he wanted to go ahead and try to gut the entire Dallas Cowboys coaching staff. It don't matter what side of the ball it's on, and that's the crazy part about it. Usually, if you see another coach get a promotion and he gets hired as a head coach elsewhere, they may bring one or two coaches with them or a couple of coaches with them from their side of the ball, especially if they're the ones that originally brought that coaching staff in. Dan Quinn, he said, forget all that. I'm trying to take my defensive coaches. I'm trying to take the offensive coaches. Hell, if you let me, I'll take the catering staff. Dan Quinn, bro, what's good? <laughs> what's good? So you can see here, Todd Archer, one of the most prominent Cowboys beat reporters, has tweeted or posted on X, in addition to blocking Washington from interviewing tight end coach Lunda Wells, the Cowboys also had to deny the commanders from speaking with DB's coach Al Harris, per a source. Now, I know what you're wondering. You're probably like, hey, how is it that the Cowboys are able to block these guys from taking better jobs? Well, the thing is, in the NFL, teams can block guys from being interviewed if it's a lateral move. Dan Quinn ain't even trying to get these dudes promotions. He just said, hey, instead of going over there and coaching for the Cowboys, the biggest franchise in all of the country, the franchise in which all of the teams are going to be looking at what the Cowboys are doing and what coaches are doing what. The team that has made Al Harris into a household name. Make no mistake about it. Dan Quinn ain't the reason Al Harris is a household name. Now, the fact that Trayvon Diggs and Deron Bland and these dudes been balling and Al Harris is coaching for the Dallas Cowboys is the reason he's a household name right now. Tell me something right now. What other DBs coach in the league do you know the name of? Probably none of them. Hell, Dan Quinn probably don't know the name of his DBs coach because he don't even have enough respect for this man to not try and interview other teams' DB coaches while he's still here. He got an interim tag on him. Kristen Garcia, you might as well have all your stuff in the bag right now. I hope I hope you got all your stuff in a suitcase. You got all your stuff packed up out the office and sending you a little cardboard brown box. Cause bruh, Dan Quinn ain't trying to keep you there. And while you at it, you might as well take the tight ends coach Todd Storm with you too. Because both of y'all just got the ultimate slap in the face. Cause he let y'all know off rip. I'm looking for replacements. I'm trying to bring everybody and their grandmama from the Dallas Cowboys. Dan Quinn, bro, what's good with you? Is it not good enough that you've already taken Joe Witt Jr. from us, who apparently his only dream, one of his two main goals as a coach, just in general for his career, was to be the defensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. You already took Joe Witt Jr. with you. He's your defensive coordinator for the Commanders now. And the Cowboys gave you permission to interview our defensive line coach. What more do you need? Now, I didn't want to buy into the conspiracy theories that you threw the wild card game from a defensive play calling standpoint, just a defensive game plan. But damn, when you start adding up all the damn clues and evidence with Micah Parsons saying that they got out schemed, out coached, out game planned, and he can't control what the coaches are calling. He was willing to do whatever he needed to do to help us win in that game. And then you look at the fact that we gave up 48 points to the Green Bay Packers. 
in the wild card round. And then you look at the fact that you out here keep keying with Washington Commanders fans about becoming their next head coach. And not only did you become their next head coach, Dan Quinn, you became their next head coach after they had already went on multiple other dates the very same day. That's crazy. That's like taking a chick out and she done already went and ate at Cheesecake Factory for breakfast, went to Nobu for lunch, and now you taking her to Chili's for dinner. Dan Quinn, you're Chili's. They wanted better options earlier today. The they couldn't get the Ben Johnsons. They couldn't get the other coaches that they wanted. So they settled for you. And not only are you going over there, but now you taking shots at the Dallas Cowboys fan base and franchise on the way out the door when this team and this franchise and this fan base, the way that we have lifted you up and crowned you as a defensive prodigy for why you've been here. And now you want to take shots at us when we was the only reason you was able to resuscitate your career and being on the wrong side of the biggest comeback in NFL history. And then you came to the Cowboys when they gifted you Micah Parsons the year you came. When Trayvon Diggs came into his own the year you came. When they traded out some pieces of some dudes that probably didn't really want to play all that much. And they put some dudes that was hungry on their defense. And they got some young talent in there. And they completely changed out the whole defense. So there was nowhere to go but up. And you benefited from that. The Cowboys franchise set you up to look like a savant on defense. And you benefited from it for 60 to 75% of the season. But every single year, just like you did with the Atlanta Falcons, letting that whole entire fan base down, letting the entire state of Georgia down. Hell, at that time, letting the entire United States of America down because nobody wanted to see the Patriots win another Super Bowl. And you let everybody down. And you let us down. Time after time after time again. At the end of the season, your defense stopped generating them turnovers. They just started letting teams walking up and down the field on them and just pray that we can hold them to a field goal with every possession. In the playoffs, your team wasn't creating the splash plays. Your game plans didn't look immaculate. But you want to sit up here and talk about, uh, 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 guys, I got the same pick. Nobody cares, Dan Quinn. Them Commanders fans going to be doing you just like they did Ron Rivera. And the worst part about it is you going to ruin a top two pick quarterback in the process. All I got to say is, yes, it is regular business for coaches, like I said, when they get hired, to bring coaches with them. But not try to bring the entire damn farm. I've never seen someone try to pick up the soil and bring it with them. You might pick up some of the most important crops, the crops that's going to stay fresh for the trip, but you ain't going to try to bring the soil with you. Dan Quinn, bro, I'm starting to believe you sabotaged that playoff game. I'm starting to believe it. You played our defense out of phase. You didn't adjust. You got beat by 48 points, and it was just, huh, eh, eh, it's cool, whatever. I'm starting to believe you sabotaged that playoff game. And the more days that goes by and the more interview requests the Cowboys <laughs> blocking from your ass, I'm going to believe it even more, bro. I'm glad they blocking them interviews. And I hope y'all don't try to get cute with the job titles and descriptions that y'all trying to give people. Don't try to give Al Harris no defensive assistant head coaching job or whatever, defensive assistant coaching job or something like that. We can promote them too. Cowboys, go ahead and give them a higher tag. Give them a higher tag. As soon as we get our defense coordinator, let them know, hey, we got to promote Al Harris, defense assistant coach, just to be petty at this point. Because Al Harris is one of the ones, we, we, we do want to keep him. And I know you said you'll follow him to Alaska, Al Harris, but not if we got anything to do with it. Dan Quinn, bro, what is wrong with you? And see, now that joke that Micah made about following Dan Quinn to wherever he went, that joke ain't as funny no more because this dude really trying to take everybody with him. Now, understanding and being realistic, we have to know that whatever defensive coordinator we bring in is more than likely going to bring at least some of his staff with him. Now, granted, there may be some carryovers because the Joneses like to do that. 
but whoever we hire is probably going to bring a staff with them. So a lot of these guys probably are going to need other jobs, but not on the offensive side of the ball, Dan Quinn. Damn. Do y'all think that Dan Quinn sabotaged the Dallas Cowboys? Do y'all think that he's now trying to stick it to the franchise on his way out the door? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below, bro, because this dude right here is wilding. Either way, y'all know how we have to end these videos, man. We stay them same damn cowboys. Dan Quinn, mind your business. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still in ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still in boys. Hey, hey! Woo, my boy, Hey, I'm still in boys.